<laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always ready for Wok Wednesday. Welcome to Wok Wednesday or welcome back to Wok Wednesday. I'm Jeremy from School of Wok, Covent Garden. And this week it's coming up to Easter, so we're going to do a spicy Sichuan lamb dish. Believe it or not, over in northern and western parts of China, lamb is actually really popular. So it's a quick stir fry, spicy Sichuan lamb. We're gonna start with the lamb. I've got some lamb rump steak here, and that's been cubed, so nice chunky cubes. I'm gonna keep it almost a little bit succulent, it's a little bit medium uh, when I cook that. I'm gonna marinate it up with some light soy sauce, sesame oil, a little bit of Shaoxing rice wine. The rice wine, actually I'll keep a little bit for the end as well, because I'm not gonna use too much stir fry sauce, I'm just gonna finish it off with some chicken stock and rice wine. Corn flour and a pinch of sugar. Light soy sauce in, sesame oil, rice wine, as I say, just keep a little bit for the end. Good pinch of sugar. I want that sugar to caramelise lightly around the bits of meat. And then the corn flour I'll bring in in a second. Just give that a good massage first. You can smell that Shaoxing rice wine already. And if you can't find Shaoxing rice wine, you don't have an Asian supermarket nearby. And you can just swap it out for brandy or dry sherry. Now the rice wine is there to help tenderize the meat, but also give it that sort of sweetish flavor. So if you are going for alcohol free, yes, you could use a bit of stock, but it wouldn't really tenderize. Uh, so juice, sort of uh, pineapple juice, or uh, pear juice, papaya juice, things like that will help to tenderize the meat, but give it that sweetness. Once all the marinade is being soaked up by the meat and there's nothing sitting on the base of the bowl. That's when you're gonna add a little bit of corn flour to the mix. You don't need too much, about a tablespoon probably is enough and it, it's just to give a slight sort of creaminess around each piece of meat, not to make a batter. So my lamb rump being quickly marinated. Base flavors, this is really simple, I've got Quite a bit of Sichuan peppercorn here, which I'm gonna crush up. And then I've got some chili powder and some cumin powder. This is very spicy. You want what they call that mala flavor. That also, it's almost like a tingling, mentally spicy chili flavor in your mouth. Now, Sichuan peppercorn is definitely native to Sichuan. And like the chili, like chili would have come from the sort of Central Americas and, you know, but the two marry together very well, which is why they're used in so many different sort of Sichuanese dishes. So we've got our powders here ready to go. In fact, I'm gonna to start to piece together my what clock of ingredients here. So if you haven't seen this before, 12 o'clock with your first ingredient and then go all the way around. But I'm actually gonna sear my meat first and then bring it back into the stir fry later on. Just chunks of onion so it kind of sits well with the cubes of meat. And then my spices, I want all that cumin there, it's about a couple of teaspoons of cumin. My Sichuan peppercorns, I won't use all of that chilli. You can go, you know, as your palate tells you. And then we've got these dry red whole chilies, just to add to that spice. I've got a bit of ginger and garlic as well, which I'm gonna start the stir fry off with. So my wok clock of ingredients nice and quickly set up there, where my meat kind of sits here. So I will start with it, but then I'll bring it back to the end of the stir fry just before I add a bit of liquid to finish it off. Let's get walking. So I'm gonna sear the lamb first because I want it to get a good bit of color and you know, and make sure that I've not sort of cooled the wok down too much from throwing everything else in first. First things first, get your wok onto really high heat. Good amount of oil into the base. Swirl that around and you wanna make sure that your wok is smoking hot before you add your lamb. Lamb's coming in. Oh. 
So I'm not really moving the lamb around too much at the moment. I want it to sear nicely on one side before I turn it and sear the other side. Get a good colour. And then sear the other side. Again, without too much movement. If you move it around too much and do any sort of vigorous stir frying at this point, then it will just lose heat. And this is the reason also why I'm using a flat spatula rather than a ladle because I find it easier to, to press into it and then get underneath the meat and turn it nicely. When you sort of pre-sear or stir fry your lamb like this or your meat, then when it comes back into the stir fry, it'll literally take a matter of sort of 30 seconds to a minute to finish it off. Next up, we're gonna go round the wok clock and this is all gonna happen pretty quickly Ginger and garlic in first. If you want, you can put your Sichuan peppercorns and your spices in at this point as well, but they might catch very quickly. So I'm putting it slightly later in the stir fry just to help you guys out. You don't want to burn your ginger and garlic. So get your onions into that relatively quickly and then start to flip those through. So I want to get a nice char around the onions. Then push those to the back. Allow space for your next ingredients. This is all gonna happen very quickly from here. A little bit more oil, just to sort of temper those spices. They're all gonna go in very quickly, along with the lamb, and then we're gonna to top it up with a bit of liquid. So your chicken stock, and finally your rice wine. Spices in, lamb's coming over the top. That's gonna really choke it up. So flick that through quickly, and then have your stock ready. I want this to get to a really good smoking point. I wanna choke the guys up a little bit first, and then I'm gonna add the chicken stock. The chicken stock's coming in. A nice sizzle of chicken stock around the edge. Let that stay on a high heat, and then start to stir it through. So there's no added sort of stir fry sauce or anything that's gonna thicken it out anymore. Because with this type of sort of Sichuan or Chinese cooking, you want it to be that much more earthy and let the flavor of the lamb and the spices really stand out. So once that sauce has got a nice, it's starting to sort of smooth out and get that sort of silkiness to it, you're almost there. And lastly, that Final bit of rice wine, just gonna add just before I'm ready to serve up. Stir that through once or twice. And that's it, really rustic Sichuan dish. Look at that. So it's High heat all the way, just controlling that heat with your wok action. Very simple flavors in here. A little bit of spring onion or coriander, either or, to top that off. Mmm, taking back, me back to when I was in Sichuan. A lot of the dishes are really quite simple like this, and it's that flavor from the Sichuan peppercorns that really stands out. The mix of the cumin seeds, the chili, oh, delicious. Bowl of rice, some greens on the side, that's your dinner. Guys, if you like this type of recipe and you want to learn more about Asian food, any sort of food, Chinese through Southeast Asian, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like everything we do.